Oh shit, we have yeah, to draw now? Know. Fuck. Color is your friend. Oh hell no. Nah. Oh. <laughs> I like how you say oh hell no after she said color is your friend. That's what? racist. <laughs> okay, you have the issue, right? You wanna eat eggs, but you wanna eat them fast and you wanna eat them raw. So, what do you do, right? You guys see the problem, right? You already okay? Never mind. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, how do we how do we do this? Well, yeah. there's my solution. <laughs> you get the egg funnel, bro. It is the egg chuck funnel. <laughs> <laughs> so you can eat your raw eggs, no puking, no safety. So we got the slogan: is <laughs> not down to gag, funnel that egg. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's not for butt use, so don't don't use it for your butt. That's not I mean, good. you can't butt chug. Don't don't butt chug the egg. I don't think that's safe. <laughs> Anyhow, please buy my egg chuck funnel. <laughs> All right. So uh, his problem is that he's tired of people borrowing his butt plug collection without him <laughs> knowing. So what I what I what I came up with, uh, it, it, it's it's uh, you'll have to understand it. If anyone knows Minecraft, it's an ender chest, uh, oh you know, and uh, basically it's a it's a literal por portal to hell, uh, you know, very good for uh, butt plug storage. Have you ever had the problem that there's a real risk that you might come just right before the <laughs> goddamn climax? Yeah. Have you ever had that moment? Have you ever? Hmm. I have had that gamer moment. Um, <laughs> have you ever heard of Deer Seaman? <laughs> yeah, well, good quality <laughs> thing calling the deer steaming. <laughs> what is that? Know, you see, is instead of uh, holding back when you're like uh, on Ollie's channel and you want to like release your curtain, <laughs> think about the deer steaming product that we have for you. <laughs> Why deer steaming? Yeah, even if you want to screw a deer, but you don't, no. we have deer steaming for that very occasion. Instead of jerking off <laughs> to Ollie's channel, because you know you're, you do. Thank that you. doesn't make any Thank sense. You. Thank you. Very much. I'll think of that whenever I might come. That's not a product, bro. All right. So apparently we have no social life, and uh, because of the gaming situation, you know what I mean. This is a problem. And uh, pandemic. Yeah. So I have a solution. <laughs> what is that? Now, How is that? I know it's raggedy and whatnot, but it gives you, you know, it gives you that. But what is it? Sentiment is of it? what to do. Yeah. Please don't Social interrupt my uh, present uh, presentation, please. Thank okay. you. So this is what you do. Read a book. Because reading this book or any book, it gives you life. It gives you that, um, you know, that imagination. And uh, and uh, yeah. And my tagline is. Reading is fundamental, you bitches. <laughs> yeah. That's right. So Thank you, Courtney. He's such a, a, such a social life. <laughs> Have you ever woken up in the morning and just thought, God damn, I don't feel like going to work? Well, that problem is called working for the man. And this is my solution to that problem. <laughs> it's pretty much a communist <laughs> uprising. What you do is you seize the means to production, you line your boss up against the wall, and you execute him. <laughs> <laughs> now, my art might not be the best, but he's actually a Soviet uh, citizen. And honestly, this is the best thing that could happen to bosses, all right? Now, follow along with me. Rest in shit and piss. <laughs> That's the solution to this problem. Thank you. Oh, and don't forget. Man. Communist, excuse me, <laughs> communist <laughs> uprising. Communist. No, you're not supposed to give me money. We're supposed to distribute it. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Clocks are taken, suck on my dick. When you lose your family, it's almost like losing a piece of yourself. And the only thing you can really do is just rebuild it and start all over again. So, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to present Dead Fam Alive Semen. <laughs> well, essentially, what you do is you just start a new generation. So you find a willing mate and you start all over again from the very beginning. And the process may be painful, but some people find it enjoyable. So what can we say about that? We need to start the next generation of your family. And uh, this graphic might be disturbing to some audiences, but uh, make of it what you will. Have you ever had uh, problems with like having dead family members just drop on you left and right? I have. That's because I come up with a simple solution. 
fire eating. Never heard of fire <laughs> eating? I'll tell no. you what fire eating is. You see, when you have no money and you can't take your dead relatives to a funeral home, what's your second choice? Ashes? No? Give them to science? No? No, you just find the nearest <laughs> fire and just eat them into it. They'll be proud of you for saving them and saving all that money that you could spend on something else like buying a book what's, or something else. What's the slogan? And uh, you cheat and you can't afford a funeral? Try fire eating. It's simple and free. Uh, uh, thank you very much. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Well, gentlemen, I have a solution. <laughs> when it comes to paying tribute to my dead family. Hey, Lois. Now, you know the term, do it for the vine. <laughs> we all have to do it once in a while. Some did it to become better YouTubers now and more TikTokers, but you know. I hate that voice. <laughs> my way to do it for the vine, to tri pay tribute to my dead family is this. <laughs> now, I know it's a lot because... <laughs> The way how an instrument looks, spotted, veiny, disease looking. Jesus. Sometimes, you know. Huh? No, I'm saying uh huh, like I'm listening. Uh, yeah. But, you know, I just had to do it. Because being stuck in 2015 works for the grind. <laughs> do it for the fight. Have you ever had a gamer moment and it's left all, the, all your loved ones dead? Good. <laughs> Epic. Well, uh, I, I think I have some for you that might be a little useful. Now, this might be one of the most uh, underappreciated uses or tools that you can ever have, and that is the F button. <laughs> now, what do you do with the F button? You press <laughs> F to pay respect, <laughs> and uh, you you know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, when those gamer moments leave your family dead, because I think we can all relate to when those gamer moments leave your uh, leave in, you leave your entire family in post mortis. So you know, all those dead families, everyone can relate to it. Everyone gotta have it at some point. You know how it is. So I come up with a solution that can help everyone in this situation. So. You just you just replace them with robots, bro. <laughs> replace them. <laughs> replace them. <laughs> just just get, a, get a new family, but it's robots. That's a little alliteration, so, man. How do you pay better tribute to your old family? Then get a new family, so you're happy again. You got a new you got a new family. Get a new robot dad and robot mom just sitting there with you, like you can see on the drawing. They got some nice there's glasses even, on. There's no robot tits. Robot tits are not included in the base package. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, pay extra. Anyhow, so you place them with robots, has some upsides, has some downsides, you know. But you gotta think about it. It's like your old family, but more productive and sexy, maybe? I don't know. If, if you're into that, if you, get the, if you get the robot tit upgrade, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so consider a robot family, because robot incest is not real incest. <laughs> So sad. Uh, I what? Gotta love those robots, man. Oh shit! That's how it's done. Oh damn! Who knew sex sells? Hey! Uh, congratulations! Nice you clearly have the gift of invention. Good. Now for some bad news. You might have missed the print on the flyer that grants us the rights to any and all inventions created here today. Uh, no. <laughs> Sorry. You got but thanks for making Apollo. us rich. See ya. Oh well, I made my seven K.